Comfort and Kirk Cameron are doing what they do best, spreading heaps of dung wherever they go. Their weak attempt to discredit Darwin's origin of species got me thinking about why they are even wasting their time. From their own mouths, they clearly haven't the foggiest idea of what evolution is or what the theory of evolution postulates. Or perhaps they do, and they are purposely being misleading by trying to link it with the Big Bang Theory and abiogenesis. But their current scheme has got me thinking. Just who exactly are they trying to fool? They're not scientists, so why would they believe that students from the top 50 universities could or would take them seriously about their claims of debunking science? Creationists, I used to feel so bad for you. I thought you were made up of a bunch of self-delusional, ignorant, misguided simpletons who were indoctrinated into this crap as youngsters. But with people like Ray Comfort and Kirk Cameron and Venom Fang X and other creationists here on YouTube, I realize now that you are all quite aware that what you believe in is total and complete crap. That creationism and other intelligent design claims fall apart even under the weakest scrutiny, and you go out of your way to avoid learning the facts. Instead of challenging people who have already buried your claims, you come to people like me. People whom you know are not scientists. I'm an atheist, and I've repeatedly asked for evidence for gods, specifically your god. Instead of providing this, you try to talk to me about evolution, which is almost always confused with the origins of the universe and the origins of life. First of all, evolution is not synonymous with atheism. There are plenty of theists who accept evolution for the fact that it is. And secondly, if that's the road you're going to go down, then don't talk to me. You are dishonest, deceptive people who are intent on remaining willfully ignorant, and I want no part of that. You purposely go to sources that reinforce your myths, and when trying to bolster your own ego about creationism, you make a beeline for people whom you assume cannot properly explain scientific processes without cutting and pasting. It's like approaching an electrician and demanding that he or she explain the mechanics of brain surgery, and when that person cannot, saying, Ha ha, see? Cause it's bullshit! No, you are making a calculated decision of asking lay people to explain fields of science that you already know they are not qualified to answer. If any of you were honestly interested in the facts, or if you truly believe that creationism trumps biology and cosmology, then you wouldn't be so afraid to avoid the sources that go against the nonsense you preach. Just by typing evolution and human evolution into Google, you have to do some major sifting through all the sites that offer valid, credible information on the subject just to get to the fluff pieces that claim to debunk it. That already tells me how dishonest creationists are. But you don't even need Google. Here on YouTube, there are plenty of pro-science channels that have dissected, at length, many areas of science. More likely than not, they've already answered your question or debunked your claim. If you really think you have the truth, then what does the truth have to fear from scrutiny by those who have had advanced education in the sciences? I'm an atheist. Prove to me there's a god. But don't talk to me about evolution, because I'm not a scientist. Don't ask me to explain science to you. By the way, I think I should address these rumors that have been going around that I have a cyber crush on math fails. It's not true. My cyber crush is only for Coughlin. <laughs> so yeah, there's no way I could ever advise for anyone.